Hey everyone, in this video we would like to discuss how to uh, simulate the charging capacitor and discharging capacitor inside the uh, MATLAB program. So first we opened our MATLAB program and we have here our command window. We will type the power library, okay, power library, then click on enter okay this will open us the power library uh, which is used of course for electrical uh, engineering so now uh, the window for the library power library for the simulating okay so you'll find here in this library the different elements which is required to uh, use it inside the simulation such as the electrical sources the elements the power electronics machines the measurement devices the interface elements and the power GUI block which is the important block used for the solving our equations so what are we going to do first we are going to uh, add a new blank model okay okay now what is the second thing first we need to simulate the charging capacitor so first we will need the supply electrical sources then we will choose the dc uh, voltage uh, source okay so uh, you can right click on it and click on copy okay and open the uh, simulink uh, window and right click paste okay or control c and control v now take this element like this and maximize it okay so we have our dc supply now in order to simulate a charging capacitor we need an rc circuit so we'll go to the library power library elements you will see that we need an rc circuit okay rc circuit so you can have a series rlc branch or you can choose here series rlc load What's the difference between them? You will see that here in RLC branch, you will find the window which is appearing right now, resistance equal one ohm, inductance, capacitance as a values. The value of the resistance, value of inductance, value of capacitance. But in the RLC load, you will find here active power, inductive power, capacitive power. So here in the form of uh, what in uh, kilovolt ampere, or in kilovar uh, for the capacitance and the inductance so here in the form of power here in the form of the elements RLC so we need the elements RLC right click okay and copy go to the here control V connect this branch to this one and uh, second thing we need if we double click on this one you will find the branch type so what we need here is that we would like to have the measurement of the uh, voltage only the branch voltage branch current branch voltage and current okay you can select this but what will happen here is that it will give you the voltage across the RC branch but we need the voltage across the capacitance only so what we are going to do is that we will make the branch type and resistive only and the resistance is one mega ohm so in order to make it mega we need 10 power 6 so we'll type e6 this means that we have a 10 power 6 uh, ohm or one mega ohm click on apply then okay so we have here a series resistance so we can type this as r as a resistance and this one as a v dc okay the dc supply we can click on this and then copy then control v paste take this one here like this and click here to connect them automatically click this one here like this and we double click on this and it makes this one the capacitance and you can keep it like this or have any values set the initial capacitor voltage we will assume that our capacitor 
having a zero initial voltage it is not a charge it okay starting from zero apply okay okay so we have here the c or the capacitance okay so we have an r we have the capacitance one mega ohm the capacitance uh, 10 power uh, negative 6 farad as i remember and the dc supply 100 volt okay as an example now i would like to see the voltage across the capacitance okay so what i'm going to do is going to library then back to the power library then choose measurements double click on measurements then voltage measurement right click copy go here paste okay now we have the positive and the negative the positive here takes this positive and connect it with the capacitance okay the positive terminal of the capacitance this terminal is the positive we can control r to rotate like this to make it cl more clear for you okay delete this one okay maximize this one take the positive here okay and take the negative here like this okay so it measures the voltage across the capacitance now we have the output which is the voltage we need it to provide it to a scope to see the output so how we can do this go to the simulink library okay then type here uh, scope okay scope enter Simulink scoop right click add to block to the model untitled okay so we added the block here take this scoop like this okay now you will find that here we can add the electrical reference the ground in the uh, power library power library uh where is the ground the ground is uh, electrical sources uh, not in the electrical sources in the elements as i remember ground right click copy go to the here paste and put here so that the uh, zero voltage here is the ground okay the lowest voltage is the ground okay now what is the remaining thing if we click on run it will give us an error you will see that here there is an error okay why because we forgot to add the power go you block this is an important block which you have to do or add inside the uh, simulink where is it power library power GUI right click copy go to uh, the model here control V and we have here our complete circuit this will give us the charging of capacitor click on run now everything is finished double click on the scope Now you will see that here, this is the charging of the capacitor. Capacitor is starting from zero, since the initial voltage across the capacitor is zero, and charging exponentially until reaching the steady state, which is the 100 volt, which is the supply or DC supply voltage. Very simple. Now let's uh, do the uh, discharging capacitor. So in order to do the discharging, we have a capacitor and resistance only so delete this supply connect this together click okay we have capacitance we have a resistance and this capacitance should be charged so double click on it double click and capacitor initial voltage we will assume that this capacitor was charged by 100 volt so this is an already charged capacitor and connected to a resistance okay now we would like to see how the capacitor will charge uh, discharge through the resistance so click on run double click on the scope 
starting from the 100 which is the initial value of the capacitor and discharging exponentially through the resistance okay so this was a simple example on how to use the uh, power library in uh, simulating the charging capacitor circuits charging rc circuit and this is charging rc circuit